Let's do number 35, the sine of u plus v. Remember, the sine of u plus v, if we look at our little cheat sheet, is right here. So it's the sine of u times the cosine of v plus the sine of v times the cosine of u. So let's see if I can remember that. So sine of u plus v equals the sine of u cosine of v plus sine of v cosine of u. Yeah. Alright, so let's, uh, sometimes I like to just write, make sure I have all these things. So let's write the sine of u, which I already have, it's 5 thirteenths. Let's write the cosine of v, which I already have, which is negative 3 fifths. And then remember, I'm going to have to draw a triangle. And so this, the angle u is going to be in the first quadrant, because it tells us there. So that's u. So the opposite is 5, the hypotenuse is 13, and so this is a 5, 12, 13. So now I can say the cosine of u, because remember the cosine of this is going to be the adjacent now over the hypotenuse, so it's going to be positive 12 over 13. And I could also do the same thing for the sine of v. Let me do this in a different color. Let's do this in blue. The sine of v is going to equal, well here's v, it tells you that v is in the second quadrant, so there's my v, and remember my angle is this is the adjacent, which is negative 3, and the hypotenuse is on the bottom there. Good thing that this was negative, because it's in the second quadrant. If that wasn't negative, we'd know there'd be a problem there. By the way, this is never negative, the hypotenuse. So if you're wondering how do you know that it's a negative 3, not a negative 5, because we're always going left or right, positive or negative. The, the hypotenuse is always just a distance, which is always positive. This is also going to be now positive because it's in the second quadrant, so that's going to be a 4. And so the sine is the opposite over the adjacent, which is 4 fifths. All right, now let's do a substitution. I'm going to do color coding here. The sine of u is right there. So the sine of u is 5 thirteenths. It's not the sine of 5 thirteenths. It's the sine of u. We don't even know what u is. But we know that the sine of u is 5 thirteenths. Now let's do the cosine of v in light green. Here's the cosine of v, which is negative 3 fifths. So I'm substituting negative 3 fifths in for the cosine of v. Now let's take, do purple, the cosine of u. The cosine of u is right here, and that's 12 thirteenths. I'm running out of room here. 12 thirteenths, and then... I should have done that after the other one, but it's okay. And the sine of v is right here, which is 4 fifths. And notice that I'm adding between them, so make sure you're careful with those signs because that makes a big difference. So it's adding those. Now let's do the math. Let's not be foolish here. The fives can cancel. I see people all the time doing that problem and multiplying 15 times 65 and then going how do I how do I reduce that you should have reduced it at the very beginning that's the way to do it because this is a multiplication problem of fractions and you can cancel common factors and it makes your problem a lot easier with this one I can't cancel anything you know what there I went and said that and now I feel foolish because I forgot with these problems a lot of times if this one isn't going to cancel then don't cancel this one because you're going to have to get a common denominator anyway, so let's let's undo what I just did, and let's go negative 15 over 65, and let's leave it like that, not reduce it, because this, you'll notice, can't reduce, because 5 and 13 don't have anything in common with 4 and 12, so this is plus 48 over 65, and now when I add the tops together, I get 33 over 65, and I ask, can that be reduced? Well, this is 3 times 11. This is 5 times something, but not 3 or 11, so you're done.